Hi Ornaz, it's Travis here and uh, I just want to share a little bit of what uh, I've been really praying over and preparing for for Sunday. We're continuing this series called Signs of Life um, Grounded in the Whole Christ and we're going to be talking about being grounded and absorbing and loving Scripture, God's Word. Uh, my main text is going to be Psalm chapter 19 and in verse 7, I just want to point out something that I've been marinating in this day, and hopefully it'll be encouraging to you. In a world where there's many words, uh, we know that talk is, um, is at no shortage. Words are not in shortage. Um, but the Lord's Word, His Word, capital W, His Holy Scriptures, his inerrant and infallible word is trustworthy. It is blameless. And the psalmist, David, says that, that the law of the Lord is true, is blameless. Now, that word law is Torah. Torah gives a word picture of the whole story of God, all of it together in its continuity and I was thinking about how my story so often can be um, so broken and so fragmented. And I can make sense, I think, of some parts here or there, but the connecting pieces fall through the cracks. And I was thinking, how great is it that in being a child of God, we have God's word that speaks into our life about what is true in the wholeness of the entire story. The story from the beginning until the end. Our God, our maker, his story is what then receives our broken story into that larger wholeness. And I started praying and asking Jesus to reveal to me more and more how my story is a part of that greater story, and that I can then stand on the foundation of God's word, as much or as little as I can understand it because I am so small and finite, but he is so, so large and infinite that his word is whole, his word is blameless, his word is pure and trustworthy, his word is what we can stand on and believe. And for many of us, and this is what dawned on me again, something not new, but need I needed to be reminded of, is that I, I need to come to that belief of God's whole story, that story of creation, fall, redemption through Jesus, and consummation and new creation in his return. And that right now, I can be certain, even in the midst of all of the turmoil and challenges, pain and fragmented story of my life and our stories, we can remain firm footed upon the pure and blameless whole story of God. That is a story that I want to know more of and to believe. And that story is, you've been hearing a lot from me, is the gospel story. That truly is the good news. May you spend time today in that story. I guarantee you that as you spend time in that story, your story then will be encapsulated will be brought up into that larger story, God's whole story, giving you a newfound perspective, giving you a direction, giving you a calling, giving you an understanding first of who God is, and then out of that, who we are and who he says we are, because it's about his story. That was encouraging me, to me this morning, and so I thought I would just share a little bit of that with you. Read over Psalm 19 as we look a little bit more in depth uh, in uh, loving, loving and absorbing God's word, being rooted in all of his scripture. Have a great day. Blessings.